Hello everybody, my name is Six and welcome to Minecraft Feed the Beast. Now, today we're going to be focusing on the Carpenter Blocks mod. It's one of the easier mods to use. Well, I mean, other than like the tree cutter and all that stuff, but it's one of the most useful mods, I think. And I've already gone and crafted up a bunch of these Carpenter Blocks here. And these are what you're going to need to actually use the mod. So, uh, I'll show you real quick how to make those. I showed it in a previous video, but just in case you guys don't know how, you put one wood block in the center, and then a bunch of these sticks around it, and then wham, you get these carpenter blocks. Now, the thing about these carpenter blocks is you can turn them into whatever you want. Now, another really important part of this mod is that you need to also use... The, the carpenter's hammer and the carpenter's chisel. Now you have to make these with the actual carpenter's blocks. So you do that and then you have some iron and you make it into a hammer. And there you go. There is one carpenter's hammer. And then we'll do a carpenter's chisel. I think it's oh, not one of those. We need to use carpenter's blocks. Don't forget. I just told everybody that and you forgot already. Carpenter's chisel. Okay, now that we've gotten that done, we can now use, I mean, we could use these blocks anyways, but what these blocks do is I want to hide the entrance of my base. So that is my goal right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these carpenter's blocks around the area that I want to hide. Now this isn't necessarily what you have to use the mod for, but this is what I'm going to use the mod for at this point in time. And I can always change it in the future. Whoops, if I want to. Let's go ahead and blow that up. And boink, 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 boink. Okay. So we're also going to make a door out of these carpenter's blocks. Carpenter's blocks. So to do that, obviously we're just going to make a door. Boink, boink, boink. One door. Oh, we already had a door. So we're going to put that there, that there. We're going to place our door, like so, and now what we want to do, since we want to hide this, we need to get a block, oh, no, shovel, there we go, boink. Okay, so now that we got this, what we can do is we can actually right click on the carpenter's blocks and it'll, whoopsies forgot that it actually used the material when you do it so um but it makes it so you can change it into any material you want in the future boop, boop, boop. and so now it just turns everything into the material that you're using <clears throat> i believe it also absorbs the properties so while this might not make the entrance to my base really strong it will make it virtually invisible so we're also going to make this blend in a little bit more. I'm going to do that, and that, and that. Pick up those, thank you. Blop, blop, blop. Now when you do destroy these, let's go ahead and destroy one. You will get back the material that you used and the carpenter's blocks. So let's say we want to get that back. <clears throat> and we got the carpenter's block and the wood back. Or in the, the material back. So that's super awesome because you can always just change it into whatever you want. Now, what you can do with the hammer is, you can, oh, well, let's close this first so you guys can see it. With the hammer, you can change the look of your door. See, now it's invisible. You can't even tell it's there. Nobody can tell that this is an entrance to my base now, which is awesome. Even though it is still there, I can walk up to it and open it up and nobody is the wiser. So I could also do this and make a button. Is that it? Carpenter's pressure plate. There we go. It's losing my mind there for a second. Okay. So now we can do that. And then you can also use the hammer. Yeah. Whoops, active for all enemies, active for only players. Active, only active for players, yeah. So, but we can actually turn that, whoops. <laughs> Don't right click everything when you got this equipped. There we go. 
Boink. Okay, now we need to actually change that into the little grass thing. So let's see here. How do I make a grass? Minecraft grass block, a scrap box. That can't be the only way to make one. Well, anyways, but you get the gist of it. You just make it into the material and then it can be disappeared. Can we destroy you? E. No? Okay. But anyways, so that is really, really nifty. Now you can also do a lot of other stuff with this. You can make a bed. So you make a carpenter's bed. So you just go like that. And then I believe you can use a wool to have more wool. Oh no, black wool. Uh, yeah, carpenter's bed. I've already got a bed in here. Let's see, where do I want a new bed? We'll make my bed back here, just in case, just in case horrible things are happening. And I haven't actually messed around with this one, so let's see, if we boink it, ooh, that's cool. It'll change into a whole bunch of different types of beds. Rainbow bed. So I'll leave it at this one. I kind of like the look of that. Let's see, you can also make these, which I'll show you in a second. Oh, the carpenter's chisel. I should probably... Okay, so we're going to place... Let's do this outside, where there's nice and... There's, where there's lots of light. Well, for a few minutes at least. So we'll place that there, place that there. And then... Steal some of this. And I'll just show you that it doesn't only work with that. We can use quarried stone if we wanted to. Although I don't have enough of it, so we'll use that. Boink, boink. Okay, we need to make a daylight. I don't feel like getting attacked all night. So we take the carpenter's chisel, put it in there, and then you can right click with the carpenter's chisel and give it all sorts of different looks. Why is that only doing that? Hmm. Let's see here. I know it can do more than that. To chisel patterns into them. All right, so oh, okay, so we're just chiseling patterns into them. So the cut, so you just you can actually use that just to make patterns, and then you right click with the hammer and you can do all sorts of stuff like that. Make stairs, half blocks, things like that. It can go down like that, so you can make stairs. Blank, blank, and then yeah, so that's about what you can do with that with the regular square ones, but then. You can make sloped carpenter's block thingy-maboobers. It's gonna go down here, and you'll go into your little box thingy mabob and you make a slopish looking thing. Like a so, and then you've got these carpenter's wedge slope. You can also do this, and you can make carpenter block stairs, so we'll show off each of those. Can we put these in a stack? Because that makes life so much easier. Okay, we also, I'll grab some wood. Eh. Get rid of the quarried stone. We don't need that. Got some gravel. So then we'll boink those in there. Put that there. Ah, we're stuck. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. And now with these. You could place the stairs there, and say a slope there, and a slope here. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but if you wanted to do that, you could. And then we'll do that, and we'll make them like this. Bam! So we got stairs and we got slopes. Now, let's see what the, what the chisel does. So you, you can make that look like a roof, which is pretty cool. Very useful. Make it look like an actual roof. Cycle through all these patterns. No one cares. Okay. And now you can also do that. You can make it an inverted roof. Do that. You can make it to go that way. You can do a cornered roof. Or you can, you know, do a cornered roof the other way. Or whatever that thing is. That's a thing. Oh, let's see here. Does it look better like that? There we go. Next, yeah, so you can make it do that. And then let's see what else it does. Eh. There. 
do that the other way, which kind of looks cool, I guess. And then a triangle maboober. Another triangle maboober. A little triangle maboober. So it goes through a whole bunch of stuff. All super useful. Makes it really easy to build like really, really nice structures. Oh, interesting. But you can see just all the different variations of things you have to do with this. And you can do that with all of them. Blah, blah, blah. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah, your stairs can also be changed. Hold it. Uh, to that, I guess, is like a corner stair thingy bob. Then you got that. So all really nifty stuff to be able to build. And what's nice is you can just change what it looks like at all times. Oh. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Huh. You can change parts of it if you so desired as well. Huh. I just learned something new. Interesting. What? How do I make it go back? Whoa, okay, that's cool. Interesting. Huh. Very strange. What else could we do? Can we do that again? Let's see if we can replicate that. That didn't happen last time I did it. So I'll do that. And boink. And what if we do dirt? Interesting. I, what if I wanted to change the whole thing? Eh. Eh, I don't have any more dirt. No? Okay, give me this dirt. Thank you. That's really weird. I guess you, well, you can make things look <coughs> completely different. What happens if you chisel? Can you then chisel one of these? Okay. So then you can chisel a separate piece of it and even make that look different. Then the whole block can look different. That is so cool. There's so much stuff you could do with this. It's absolutely insane. Anyways, and then I believe you take it all down with a shovel and then you get every single thing you put on it, you can get back. So every piece of material you'll put into it, you'll get them all back. So what my goal is, is I'm going to make my base pretty much invisible, I think, for now. I mean, there isn't any PvP in this mod yet. Or not in this mod, but on this server yet. But when it does happen, I'm way, 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 way behind everybody else. So I don't want to get deaded. Deaded would be would be terrible. It would suck. But I have been exploring my base a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this like the, the faux base to make it look like if they do get in through here by some chance, I'm going to put up walls through here, which isn't going to help me because most of the people who I play on the server with also watch my YouTube channel, so I'm not going to go anymore. I'm not going to tell you any more of what I'm going to do. You won't know the intricities of my base. It's not going to happen. But uh, I think there's some other things. You can also make a carpenter's barrier. Let's see your carpenter's collapsible, collapse, collapsible block. So gates, you can make a garage door. Carp so basically anything that you can make in the regular game, you can make with these carpenter's blocks. And then you can turn them into any material that you want. So let's say we want to build a fence. So just like a regular fence, you'll do boink. And then you'll do boink, boink, boink. And put some sticks in there. And then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You have got yourself a fence. You could turn it into a dirt fence if you wanted to. So we'll put that fence right here. Boink, boink. One fence for you. And then we'll turn it into a dirt fence. Because that's a useful fence. A dirt fence is a good fence. Anyway, so yeah, that is the carpenter's mod. There's, I mean, it's not much more difficult than that. You get the carpenter's, ooh, what is, what, can we transform this into anything? You get, can we change it? Whoa, look at that. You can change it into all sorts of stuff. Interesting. You can make it bigger, smaller, more fencier. That's cool. Two railed fence. I like this fence. Yeah, so you can actually change the look of the fence. And can you chisel designs into it? No, okay, so you can't. Oh, you can. You can chisel designs into it. Yeah, so you can do basically anything that you want to do with this mod, you can do it. You can make everything look beautiful. And then you can always just go along and change the look of it as well. 
Let's see if it does that weird thing where it adds on to... Whoa, hello. <laughs> Whoops. So if that could be a thing that happens if you try and add on to it. Let's see here. Do I still have to break it with an axe? No, I need a shovel for this. Blink. Okay. Let's try that again. Nope. Okay. All right. So you can't add materials onto it afterwards, it seems. Can we try that one more time? Yeah. Okay. So you can't... Once you apply a material to it, you cannot add another material to it. But that is really about it. But anything that you can make in the game, you can make it with these carpenter's blocks and then change the material almost all the time. Or if you want to change the material, you can just destroy it. And then, you know, just get, you'll get all your materials back and then you just reapply whatever material you want. Pretty sure there is a way to just change the actual material. Because that's, that's a little bit of a pain doing that. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got to show you for the Carpenter's Mod. It's really easy, and you can do a lot of awesome stuff with it. And uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Everything changes. Let's do it. Screw it. YOLO. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a tree. 45,000 damage per hit. We got a whole bunch of alphas here. Ooh, okay, he only does 4.7 thousand damage per hit, but also my damage team has decreased significantly.